Hi, welcome to this week's Power Up Kids Online. If you're from our Power Up or Power Up Minis Clubs, it's great that you are here to join us. If you're joining us as a guest, we hope you enjoy your time with us too. Today we got some fun games and activities for you to do, an animated Bible story with Sammy Scribe, a quiz on our webpage, and a special guest at the end. My name is Carl, and it's time for the club to begin. Well, I'm really getting excited. Do you know how many more sleeps there are till Easter day? Put your hand up if you know the answer. If you said three more sleeps, you are right. Easter can be a lot of fun, but I wonder if you know why we celebrate it each year. What is it all about? Where did it start? What happened that very first Easter? These are all very good questions, and so we thought we would look at what happened and some of the main events that took place over the Easter period. Last time we looked at Jesus ride into Jerusalem. This week we're going to discover more about the Last Supper, a special meal that Jesus had with his disciples, and also Jesus' arrest. But first, it's time for an activity. Which egg is different? A number of Easter eggs will appear on the screen and you have to work out which one is different before the answer appears. Are you ready? Cool. Then let's begin. How did you do? Did you spot which eggs were different? 
If you didn't, don't worry. I didn't spot them all either. We have got another activity and a special guest later on, as I mentioned earlier. But now it's time for this week's story with Sammy Scribe, The Last Supper and Jesus Arrest. It had just turned evening when Jesus arrived with the twelve disciples. They all sat together at the table to eat, when Jesus said, One of you will betray me. When they heard what Jesus said, they were sad. One by one they asked, Surely you don't mean me? Later on Peter said to Jesus, Even if everyone else leaves you, I will never leave you. But Jesus replied, Today, before the rooster crows twice, you will say you don't know me three times. Peter didn't like what he heard and said, I would rather die than leave you. The other disciples agreed. Next, they went to a place called Gethsemane and Jesus told them to wait while he prayed. That was except for James and John who were invited to go with him. Jesus was deeply troubled and so he asked James and John to wait and keep watch while he walked a little further. Jesus prayed that his Father in heaven would save him from what was about to happen, but then decided he would follow his plan even if it was difficult. Jesus returned to his disciples, but they had fallen asleep. Wake up, Jesus said. Couldn't you stay awake even for a little while? Jesus went away again and prayed, the same as he did before. But again, when Jesus returned to the disciples, they were asleep. None of them knew what to say to him. This all happened a third time. Jesus made sure he had the disciples' attention, for it was time for him to be betrayed. As Jesus spoke, Judas arrived with an angry crowd and betrayed Jesus with a kiss. He did this so the soldiers knew who to arrest. Jesus was arrested and they took him to the home of the high priest where some important people had come together to meet him. Peter had followed from a distance and watched from the courtyard below. While he was stood by the fire keeping warm, a servant girl came along and asked if he was with Jesus. But Peter replied, I don't know what you're talking about. Peter moved, but the girl saw him again and told everyone that he had been with Jesus. Again, Peter said, I don't know what you are talking about. Sometime later, the people stood near Peter and asked, Are you sure you're not with Jesus? Peter began to get angry and told them, I don't know this person you're talking about. As soon as he said this, the rooster crowed a second time. Peter suddenly remembered what Jesus had said. Before the rooster crows twice, you will say you don't know me three times. Peter was very, very sad and began to cry. I wonder, have you ever let anybody down before? Maybe you've made a promise or said you would do something and then changed your mind. Peter said he would never let Jesus down and then he told those around him that he never knew him. I wonder, what happened? Why did Peter let Jesus down? And why do we sometimes let people down? We will think more about that in a moment, but first, why not pause the video to see how much of the story you remember by doing the story quiz below this video on our web page. Then, when you finish, press play to continue the video, or you can do the quiz at the end, or another time or day when you're ready. If you just completed the quiz, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Put your hand up if you got a top score. Let's say more than five, right? If you didn't, well done for trying. Now, here at Power Up, it's time for another fun activity. And Nina is going to explain what you have to do. Hi, this is a picture game called What Am I Frightened Of? When the game starts, a picture will appear, but it won't be completely clear what it is until the end. But, as well as working out what the picture is, you also have to work out what you'd be frightened of in each picture. Are you ready to give it a go? Then let's begin.
hope you enjoyed that game. How did you get on? Jump up and sit down if you think you've got a higher score than me. Awesome. Well done. It's almost time for our special guest. Are you excited? Because I am. But before our guest makes an appearance, here is Carl with a few thoughts about today's story. We hope you enjoyed that game. We all get afraid sometimes, don't we? Maybe we don't like spiders or lightning and thunder or heights. I still don't like spiders, although money spiders were OK. But I don't like heights either. When Peter told Jesus that he would never leave him and would never say that he didn't know him, I think he meant it. He really believed that what he was saying was true. But when the time came and people asked him, do you know Jesus? I think Peter became afraid. Maybe he thought he would get into trouble as well, or that he might get hurt. Whatever the reason, it stopped him from doing what he knew to be right. And he let Jesus down. We know from playing our What Am I Frightened Of game that we all get afraid sometimes. For a moment, even Jesus was afraid of what was going to happen next. In the Bible, there are lots of verses that can help us when we are feeling afraid. Here is one that may have helped Peter, but maybe it will help you too. It says, the Lord has promised that he will not leave us or desert us. That should make you feel like saying, the Lord helps me. Why should I be afraid of what people can do to me? We don't need to be afraid because God promises that he will never leave us alone and that he is always with us. How awesome is that? Finally, we know that later on in the story, Jesus forgives Peter, even though he let him down. God will also forgive us when we do wrong. That's what Easter is all about, as we will find out in next week's story. We're going to pray and then it's time for our special guest. And if you normally go to our Power Up Mini Club, you can probably guess who it is. He is feeling a bit afraid too, as we will find out in just a moment. Let us pray together. You can say it too if you want to follow the words on the screen. And then if you agree with what I said, say a big Amen at the end. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the fun we have had at Power Up again today. Once again, we thank you for our family friends and all those that are looking after us and trying to keep us safe from the virus. Please keep them safe too. Also, please help us when we are feeling afraid and to remember that we don't need to be because you are always with us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's now the time you've all been waiting for Please give Pete, the production manager, a great big clap and a cheer, especially as he's feeling afraid because of doing something he hasn't done before. Hi everybody, it's me, Pete, Pete, the puppet production manager. Um, well, we're sort of all at home at the moment, aren't we? So, and I've got no singers here at all, so I'm going to have to, um, well... It's going to have to be me singing. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll like it. <laughs>
good fun. Quite enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm not best singer, but never mind. It was good fun. I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Well, we'll we'll hopefully do this again another time. So oh, you all lot, you look after yourselves, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Wasn't it great having Pete with us today? Hopefully he'll be back with us again soon. I wonder what he will do for us next time. We will have to wait and find out. Well, that's all from Power Up Kids Online this week. We hope you had fun with us. Don't forget to do the story quiz below this video if you haven't already. Well, we hope you have a good week. Stay safe and well until next Thursday at 6pm. Goodbye.